We've all heard the term AI before, whether that's from the movie Terminator or that's from all these new AI concept writers that are popping up. But how far can AI really take us? Can it actually start auto-generating websites for clients, lowering the demand for web designers? Or could AI be used as a tool where we never have to build a website from scratch? I made about 80 AI websites in less than an hour. Today, I'll show you guys my results. I actually experimented with an AI tool that would actually create landing pages from scratch. And I was actually very surprised on the results it gave me. In this video, I'll go ahead and show you guys how I generated 80 AI website templates in under one hour. I'll also show you guys how I did it. And with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at these websites. So before I show you guys these designs, let me explain how I generated all these AI websites, right? Now, uh, I use a website called midjourney.com. I'll talk more about them near the end of the video. It is a free service, but let me just explain how all this works. So I actually dragged in a bot, a Discord bot into my server right here. And I actually am using it now and I'm commanding it, right? So I'm gonna type in, imagine. And at this point, it's all about being creative. You can think of any combination of words, colors, objects, anything that you want, and it'll create it right here. So I got this ready right here. We're gonna type in watches modern fintech website mockup. You know what, here, we're gonna, we're gonna just go a step further here. We're gonna do watches and gold. Watches and gold. We'll press enter. And then it's going to create four different AI generated websites for us. And we have watches with gold. And it looks great, you know? So you can see here how it quickly generates all these different landing pages. Now, let me go ahead and show you guys different combination of keywords that we use and show you some of the websites that we created. All right, here we go. The first one is the Airplane Fintech website. And the thing I love about this AI tool, guys, is it actually adds design, right? I mean, here we have this split screen effect with this curvy symbol. We have this uh, text right here with the call to action. And then it also has these other two call to actions down there. I don't know what it is, but it is great filler text to make the page look a little bit more complete. And then over here, you can see that we have these other ones. And um, yeah, I mean, for an AI generated tool, this looks amazing, <laughs> you know, like I made all these in like a second, you know, I, I don't know how that works, but it looks great, right? Let's go and take a look at the next one. Here we have shoe modern fintech websites. And I just kept it very basic, right? I don't want to get too crazy. So shoe corporate websites. And now we have these four different landing pages. And the thing I love about this AI tool again is that it adds all of the designs right here and it also adds in all these filler icons. So it looks like a modern uh, new website, right? Not like some old website with just a boring call to action and you know, we all fall asleep, you know? So they are very creative when they do create these uh, AI generated websites. The next one, is Gamer Modern Fintech. I mean, look at this. This looks incredible. Like this looks like Dota 2 uh, meets, uh, I don't know, some other game, right? <laughs> but you guys get it, right? So we have uh, the text right here. We have the call to action. They've also even added the color scheme right here. And they even have like the teal and the black button. And then they actually were consistent and carried it throughout the website, which is good web design practices. So um, yeah, kudos to these guys right here. So this is the Gamer Modern Fintech. So next we have the Modern Fintech website, right? And here we have just some general bike websites. Uh, I like this one right here, you know? I've never seen a call to action that looks like this, but it kind of works, you know? It kind of works, you know, it, it really does. Next we have the Modern Fintech websites. So these are just basic corporate websites, right? And um, I like the use of this one right here. You know, this one's very simplistic, but I love the use of the icons and then how they followed up with two call to action buttons right here. We have the contents, filler contents, lower mipsum text. We have these, I guess these would be like social icons here. And then we have these two call to actions. And I love how they have two different colors right there. It looks really, really nice. And then I don't know what this building is right here in this tree, but I love it. It looks great, right? It gets an A plus for me. You know? Next, we have the uh, fruit website mockup, right? Just some, just a general fruit website, you know? And you guys can kind of tinker around with it like strawberries only or black strawberries or purple strawberries. You guys can get as creative as you want with this AI generator. Next, we have the FinTech website mockup, which looks just like Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, right? So this looks like a bunch of cryptocurrency websites. So next, we have the bird FinTech website. Notice how I carry the fintech and fintech is just like a corporate approach, right? So uh, we have birds and this can be like some corporate website, right? You know, looks really good. 
here we have, okay, here, here I got a little crazy, right? I just typed in Pokemon bike fintech. So I wanted Pokemon on a bike and this is what it gave me. <laughs> it's, it's great, man. I mean, this is amazing stuff right here. And I also do love the use of this sidebar right here, right? So they have some sort of, I guess this is some side navigation and they also have this menu here at the top. Uh, they do look a little weird, right? It looks like a, it's supposed to be a, a Pikachu, but uh, yeah, that's what we got. But uh, here you can see these are probably just like, you know, I don't know if these are like uh, companies we work with. You have the menu right here. This is actually a login and register. So you can see it says, I think it says username right there. It's kind of blurry. And then here you have like the all rights reserved. And then maybe this is like a contact us button here at the bottom. But I do love the use of this. I have not even seen this web, uh, this kind of web design practice yet, but I think it works, right? I think it works. So we have to ask ourselves, you know, is this AI tool actually creating the next web design trends for us? Because I haven't seen this design, but I would accept it if I saw it, right? It looks really nice. Uh, this one here as well, this Pikachu dragon or something like that. I like this, it looks really nice. So uh, yeah, we got a little crazy with that Pokemon bike, something, you know, whatever. Here we have the dog modern fintech, which is just like a dog website, right? So these are pretty standard websites, nothing really too crazy. Here we have the influencer website mockups. So if you guys are an influencer and you want some inspiration, uh, we just use, you know, influencers. These are okay. You know, I think they could have done better. We could have probably typed in something more. Maybe we should have typed in uh, fintech. We didn't type in fintech for this one, right? Next, we have the USA Motorcycle Fintech website mockup. Now, this one right here was simply amazing. I love the use of this one right here at the top left. Uh, we have this guy driving the bike right behind the American flag. It's beautiful. Here we have this, you know, the, the text right here. We have the call to action. And then if you look at the bottom right here, they actually added these, I guess these are a little like, um, you know, the slider button so you can slide, you know? And that's good because it adds filler to the page. So it's not all white at the bottom and not, not boring, right? The bottom right, some more filler text, but I just, I love the side of the, the menu right here. We have the American flag, right? We have just some logo text. We have just some general, you know, information or whatever. And then we have these other call to action buttons, which might lead them to like a social profile or something like that. But I really do like this one on the top left. In fact, that's the one that I use for this thumbnail that you guys uh, clicked on, right? <laughs> so it, it got you guys, it got me too, you know? And here also on the bottom right, uh, really good use of this design. You know, the colors are very consistent. Uh, the buttons are really in a nice clean format. And I, you know, I could start seeing this as a new web design trend where we have these two menus right here, where these, this will actually be a menu. And then maybe on the left side, we can add in some social reviews or something like that to just make people uh, click on something, right? So uh, yeah, this was the USA Motorcycle Fintech. Next we have the Coffee Fintech website, right? We have to throw on coffee, right? Every single web designer and uh, dribble accounts and uh, you know, every website has a coffee mock-up. So this is it, right? Nothing too crazy, right? This is pretty basic, but uh, still the use of the images are pretty cool. Next we have the, okay, Elementor website mock-up. So I wanted to see if they actually had like Elementor in their library, but I guess they don't, right? So this is all we got. But I don't know what this is right here at the bottom right, but I love it. I, I, I just love this use of the colors and the, uh, it just looks really cool. I don't even know what it is, but I love it. I love it, it looks great, right? Uh, this thing right here looks amazing. I don't know what it is, but it looks really, really cool with these rocks in the water. I mean, simply amazing. Next we have, Okay, so I wanted to make like a ghost, like a ghost, scary ghost corporate website. So I typed in ghost fintech website mockup and this is what it gave us, right? So here we have this uh, scary mansion and we have a ghost in the back. I don't know what this is, but this looks more of like a UI design, but it looks really clean. Not sure what that is, but it looks nice. Uh, here we have just some little monastery, you know, with the light on in there. And then over here we have this like a church and I love the background, you know, it has this, faded gray, like it's deep in the scary jungle or the, the, the scary forest. And it, it looks really, really nice. I really do like these designs. Next we have the Elementor Modern Fintech. So I did try Elementor again, and it just pretty much just gave us like these corporate style websites, but uh, I like them, they look nice, right? And here we have this uh, use of the blurbs right here. So I do like it, looks good. Next we have the Chair and popcorn. Okay, I don't know. I just got crazy chair and popcorn. I don't know where I come up with these ideas, but uh, you can see that uh, it gave us chairs and popcorn. Uh, here it created a chair that was, you know, 
created with popcorn. Here, there's just popcorn on a chair, you know? So uh, yeah. Next, we have the Money USA FinTech websites. Uh, I like this one at the bottom left here. I think this is a really just, it's a really nice image. The guys behind the American flag, we have some content with the call to action, and then we followed up with some uh, icon boxes here at the bottom. That's kind of like a standard web design practice, but I also like the menu here they created as well. It's kind of hard to notice, but they added in this black right here to take away from all the white up there. I do like that. You know, I haven't really seen this a lot in uh, menus, but uh, I would start adopting it and, you know, accept it as a new uh, trend for web design. Next, we have gaming website mock-up. Look at this one. I mean, this looks great, you know? So the first one that I tried previously was gamer, and this is actually gaming, okay? So it's uh, two different uh, two different terms. But here you can see that we have this guy, probably some World of Warcraft character. And then here we have these games here at the bottom with prices, really nice. And they even added all these different icons here on the left side, like simply amazing. I really do love it. Here we have just a Pokemon modern FinTech website. So no bike, just Pokemon. I just wanted Pokemon and it gave us these different designs. And uh, <laughs> it looks interesting, right? Like, I mean, it's it, it works, you know, all of these, they work really well. Like they're positioned really well. The content's in a good spot. The call to actions are where they're supposed to be. And it just looks great, right? And uh, this one right here, this was just watches, right? So we just kept it very simple and we just typed in watch website and this is what it gave us. So really, really, really cool. Now let's go ahead and show you guys the actual website. So this is the actual website that we use. It is called midjourney.com. Now they create everything, right? They create images, they create UI designs, they create website mockups. Uh, right here, let's go ahead and click on community feed. And these are AI generated images, right? So these are all created uh, strictly with AI. And I gotta be honest, this is probably the best AI creator I have ever seen on the internet. I mean, just look at this stuff. It looks phenomenal. And if you wanna know what they actually typed in, you would just go ahead and click on the actual image right here. And then it says rooster wearing Gucci dress, photo, super detailed, high resolution, 8K. <laughs> you know, like it's simply incredible, right? So we'll go ahead and scroll down and just maybe click on one more right here. Some Something interesting. What is this right here? A magic mushroom fantasy alien, Saturn planet, city escape. I mean, the things people think of, but I mean, look at what it creates. I mean, this looks phenomenal. It looks like some sort of alien city, you know, and it looks really, really nice. But let's say, for example, you guys want to actually get some inspiration for websites or even some UI designs, right? So I went ahead and typed in UI analytics. And uh, yeah, we have some inspiration right here. So right here, we have this uh, dashboard admin, right? So this will just kind of give you like ideas if you are an app developer, you need some help with some, you know, some uh, UI design or something like that. Over here, we have a transport cybersecurity UI. I mean, that looks that looks amazing right there. You know, it's, it's a cybersecurity dashboard application. We scroll down right here. You guys can see there are a few more right here. This looks uh, really interesting. This is a UI design of Analytics dashboard, white and bronze palettes. So next we typed in website mockups to help give us some inspiration for web design. And look at that. One of mine is actually trending on the front page under hot. Look at that, right? So you can see that uh, people are liking it. A lot of people are, I think it's really cool. Uh, this one's really nice right here. This one here as well. And if we scroll down right there, you can just get a little bit more inspiration and ideas for web design. Look at this one right here. Uh, what is this? A credit card website design, Dribble Bahans, Mockup and Modern. You know, I even like how they use like the MasterCard logo right here, you know, but that looks beautiful. You know, I really do like the way that looks, right? So what did you guys think of these AI generated websites? You know, I was actually very surprised. Usually with all this whole AI generated stuff, I'm not a fan, right? Like, especially with the content writing, I'm kind of like, yeah, it's cool, but I really wouldn't use it. But after seeing what I saw today, especially an introduction to some of these new designs that I saw, I'm saying, you know, maybe we could use this for future projects. If you guys do wanna check out the website, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below of this video. I'm not an affiliate, so if you guys buy anything, I don't make any money. I just thought it was a really cool website to help give you inspiration for web design or even UI design. And let me know what you guys thought of these designs in the description below. Until then, I will see all of you party people in the next video. Take care.